Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal Francis and today we're going to do a full face of CoverGirl. I'm so excited. Are you ready? Let's get into it. So let's start out with primer. So this was new to me when I decided to do the uh, CoverGirl haul, um, just to bring in, you know, the CoverGirl things that I didn't have so I could do a full face. Um, this is a CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skincare Priming Glow Mist 8 Hour Hydrator. True clean cactus water for all skin types. And it looks like that. And I was really shocked with cactus water um, that it actually it works oh, like a primer. And it feels nice too. And it feels nice too. Oof. Oh, man. Hmm. Okay. So, next, we're going to go into concealer. This is another newbie to me, to, to my makeup repertoire. This is Simply Ageless Triple Action Concealer in Ivory. Let me show you looks like. See there? And it's in ivory. My hands are shaking. Sorry guys. And what's really cool about this concealer is the little applicator. I just got out of the hospital. I don't know. I've got weird stains. Um, the applicator here is supposed to be very cooling um, under the eyes to depuff the the bags under the eyes from you know if you don't get a good enough sneeps or whatever so I can imagine the rubbing back and forth would definitely cool it off let me Scoot you guys back just a little bit away from me so I'm not bumping the camera. Okay. This side. Do, 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 do. Oh. It does feel very cooling. Let me see. Get a closer up mirror closer to my face <laughs> mm -hmm. just a little spot spots okay That is very nice to have that cooling effect. Yeah. 
I don't know what that is. So some sort of a weird shadow. No. I don't know. But you guys have seen me do this a thousand times. Okay. Let me think. I think it looks pretty good. Okay. If you've watched me enough, you know what's coming next. Always use my beauty blender after complexion things because I think it just melts everything together and makes helps make everything look flawless. Okay. Now the next thing is this. This is a, another new thing for me. CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made. Let's see. Foundation Comfort, Comfort Matte in the shade L15 um, Porcelain. Where's this right here? in the shade porcelain and it's got a pump and if you guys get it and you're thinking oh I can't make it pump it turns that that was a new thing for me which I think is very smart of CoverGirl <clears throat> to make it kind of lock it in so that you know, you don't, you don't lose product. Okay. So. I really would appreciate it if you guys would leave down in the comment section below what some of your favorite CoverGirl products are. We'll just start a conversation about really good CoverGirl makeup products. I love CoverGirl. CoverGirl has always been my favorite brand in the drugstore. Because I am a cover girl. <laughs> uh, when I first started getting into makeup, my mother decided she wanted to allow me to do so. Um, cover girl, it was just perfect timing. I was 13 or 14 years old and CoverGirl had a holiday face palette come out at Christmas. Um, they partnered with New Kids on the Block. I was a sucker. Still am a little bit. Nickets on the block. And the commercial had Nickets on the block song Cover Girl on it. And if you want to go in and really make sure I hadn't missed anything. Um Nickets on the Block were of course my favorite group at the time and they did that uh, they did that um, commercial for CoverGirl and I loved it this was a face palette that was a big bulky plastic thing that had four shades of eyeshadow in it a cheek color um, blush um, 
one of the cheapy blush applicators, sponge tip applicator for um, eyeshadow, and an eyeliner, a mascara, and a lipstick, and a little mirror. And it came in warm or cool. It's all I wanted for Christmas. And my mother did get it for me. Two years in a row, she got me um, the cool one year and, and the warm the next year. And I loved it. And that started my love of makeup and face palettes and um, eyeshadow palettes. Yeah, so that was a huge, important step in my in my makeup life, <laughs> in my life in general, especially at the time. Um, makeup was the thing that made me more independent, and I've always been a little bit on the chunkier side, um, bigger than most of the girls around me. Um, my adoptive sister and, and a cousin of mine, I mean, they were just tiny, 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 and... You know, I had, um, I was a little bit on the, the, you know, I mean, I had baby fat and chimp on cheeks and I wouldn't, I didn't always look like this my whole life, but anyway. Um, <sighs> CoverGirl has always been my favorite this, since then. So, now we're going to go in with um, CoverGirl Simply Ageless um, Instant Wrinkle Blurring Pressed Powder with Hyaluronic Acid Vitamin C Complex. Um, yeah in the shade um, 100 translucent see that. and for those of you that don't know up under here you have the powder but then if this pops up it, it does I promise and you have um, this comes in it it's just a little spongy applicator and then as you can see a mirror that's quite luxury and impressive for a drugstore I think um, you know Milani's been doing that for a little while but kudos to CoverGirl for kind of picking that up and doing that also because um, that's nice um, especially when you're on the go or you're traveling or you know, um, you, you don't want to take a large mirror with you. It's nice when some of your products have mirrors in them. Um, I'm just kind of set in the face for those of you that don't know I have combination to oily skin and I like very matte everything and um, I like for everything to be smashed just down <laughs> <laughs> and I don't like anything to move. No, don't move. And then we're going to go in with the Beauty Blender again. And just blend, blend, blend with the Beauty Blender. Because it just melds everything together. Just quick. Quick, quick, quick. I think that you guys are kind of bouncing. Let me see if I can't. 
push you away just a little bit. I'm bouncing you. Okay, now, bronzer. Okay, so here's a story. I don't know how <laughs> you're going to like it, but how impressive it's going to be to you. But I sent my husband specifically after bronzer and eyeshadow primer. I know he got it. I remember. I can't find it. So, um, I have this CoverGirl True Blend. Oh, she's so blind. Hold on. Let me get some eyes on the situation here. Okay. Um, True Blend So Flushed High Pigment Blush. In the shade 300 Coral Crush. And looks like that. There you go. When you open it up, then it looks like this. And it's a little bit light for me, but we're going to make it work. And so, no, I got a brush. Let's see. Let's use this one. So, I have always loved CoverGirl. And after I used up my face palettes that were um, those holiday face palettes that were so mesmerizing to me because you could on the block had sang their cover girl song to the commercial. Um, and I started branching out and trying to find my own um, individual pieces of makeup. Um, I, of course, looked at, to my mother, as we all do, when we were growing up and learning, you know, I didn't, I had an older sister, but she wasn't that much older than me. And, um, adopted sister. And, uh, she, um, she didn't wear makeup like I did. She didn't, we were very different in a lot of ways. And so, to me, um, eyelashes made mascara, made the look. And so that was the number one really important thing to me is to find some really good mascara. And, you know, being a kid, you don't have any money, teenager. So, had to be drugstore stuff. It wasn't going to be luxury stuff. My mother didn't buy luxury anything. Um, you know, 80s, 90s. So, she was a working girl. And, um... Anyway, this just goes to show you, you, you can use different things to achieve whatever look you're trying to achieve. 
Um, so anyway, um, she always used my mother. She always used Maybelline Great Lash mascara. And so immediately I thought, oh, well, I got to have some Maybelline Great Lash. <sighs> hmm. I didn't know I had sensitive eyes. And I couldn't use Maybelline Great Lash. It made my eyes burn. And still to this day, it does. I don't know what they have in it that other companies don't. But Great Lash is, you know, and Maybelline is really well known for their mascaras. I think that CoverGirl is highly underrated because they have great mascaras. And you don't hear people talking about their mascaras nearly as much as Maybelline. To do some nose contouring here. Those of you that don't know, if you didn't see my um, I'm Back video, um, I uh, had to throw away all of my brushes when I moved, so I'm using, I'm trying to find different brushes that do the jobs that I need, and this is, this is not working as well as I would like it to. Uh, find something. This is a, um, what is this? Jaclyn Hill and Morphe. Um, it's a flat. Let me see something else. Maybe this one. This one here is some, is a Morphe and it's just a little domed pencil brush. Anyway, oh, that's a little bit better. Um, I'll blend all that out in a minute. I have a little cleft chin here from my grandfather. I like to bring that out a little bit. beautiful. Okay. Back to the beauty blender. So when I just when I discovered that um, I had sensitive eyes and I couldn't use Maybelline Great Lash Guess where I went? Right back to CoverGirl. <laughs> right back to CoverGirl. Because you, you find things that work. You, you don't want to, you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it, as they say. So, growing up, I didn't have a lot of experience with Revlon and L'Oreal and all the things, all the other brands. I uh, mostly stuck to CoverGirl um, in high school, all through high school and my early 20s, well, early, mid, and even a little bit in the late 20s, I used uh, 
the same eyeshadow quad um, from CoverGirl called Country Woods. If any of you use that, you know, it was my favorite. And it gave me great, um, like, independence. Made me feel like I, I, I had a uh, little, little bit of extra knowledge that others didn't have. Because I didn't see anybody else using that. Okay. For um, blush, here's another thing from high school. Now, this isn't... I haven't had this product since high school. But I've been using these since high school. These are CoverGirl Instant Cheekbones. These are so underrated. And this is in the shade... Ooh, she is so blind. Ah, okay. She has to have them to read. Purely Plum 220. Right down there at the bottom. Bum Fum. Okay. For those of you that don't know. Okay. CoverGirl has been doing these. You know, in the 80s, they it wasn't popular to have a separate set of brushes. Women were doing their makeup in the car, so on their way to work. So they had to have these like little but if you don't, you know, you you don't have to use them. But so this is your main blush color. This is your contouring blush color and this is your highlighter. And guys, CoverGirl has been doing amazing highlights since before highlighting was popular. CoverGirl has been chiseling out those cheekbones since way before it was popular. See, I think CoverGirl is highly underrated in the drugstore. Highly. So I'm just going to go in here to the middle. And I... You go... Technically... You go under your pupil and up, and that's where your blush is supposed to go, if you don't know. Technically, that's where your blush is supposed to go. It's not supposed to come any closer to, you know, we do, but it's not supposed to come any closer to your nose in the center of your pupil. There are different ways to put on blush according to your face shape but if you don't know what that is then good rule of thumb is middle of your pupil out okay now I'm just going to keep that same wet and wild um, it's really a contouring brush but I like it I'm going to go into but I like it for blush I'm going to go into this darkest shade here and I'm going to go right along the contouring line and lift up. Always make sure to tap off your stuff, your powder products, and then lift up. Okay. I'm going to dot a little bit across the nose just to I'm a very fair, cool gal in my undertones. Okay, let's find us a highlighter brush. Let's see here. Hmm. My little thing is smashed full. Of new brushes, mostly wet and wild. Come on, cover girl, let's have some brushes. That's what they you. So I'm gonna use this highlighter brush from Cover Girl. I mean, <laughs> from Wet and Wild, and I'm gonna go right in here to this highlighter shade. Sorry. Okay. And I'm just gonna go right here. Oh, there you go. I'm kind of. 
swoosh it in. A little more. And swoosh it in. There now. Oh, that's nice. I'm gonna take it right here along the nose. And the end of the nose. Get us some Rudolph light at the end of there. Across the lip. And I told you I like to highlight the cleft in my chin. Highlight each little side. There now. A little bit up here. A little bit up here. A little one in the middle. Yeah. I think that's nice. Yeah. So then, what do we do? Well, let's go after some more powder. Same, same powder. And kind of just set everything back down. Anything that I can get that's got vitamin C and hyaluronic acid in it and line blurring and that kind of thing, that's good for me. Like that. So back to the beauty blender and smushing, smush, smush, smush. Smush it all in. It, it does make a difference. I think that when you take that little bit of extra time to really do the extra steps, it makes it look so much better. Makes your makeup look so much more flawless. So, see? And those little quick in-between added in things they don't take very long do do them just spend a second and do them okay what are we going to do next let's do eyeshadow okay so i've got covergirl true naked smoky and that's 820 there and uh see when my husband went and got the the um, bronzer, contour, he got this. Comes with this little sponge tip applicator. Don't frown upon these because you really have brushes, okay? Again, these are highly underrated, okay? If you can't pack on your your um, frosty shades, your shimmery shades, without your finger. This is your next best friend, especially if you don't want to use your finger. Okay? So, that there for now. We'll see if we need it later. Let's, oh, wait, I forgot. I forgot, getting ahead of myself, excited about the fun thing. Okay, this is a new thing to me. This is CoverGirl Lid Lockup. Eyeshadow primer. Let's see here. It's got the little dub foot applicator. And, uh,. And I assumed it would be white. It's not white. It's a little bit, um, it's a little bit, uh, nudie fleshy colored. 
And I will say, too, that this eyeshadow primer, Cover Girl, is very tacky. Very tacky. So you only need a little bit. And... only need a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. It is very tacky. And I assume, I haven't tried it yet, but I assume that you, you wouldn't even need any glitter glue to apply glitter with this, this, uh, this business. So... I'm going to take, um, back to my powder, I'm going to take, um, and just get some, lock it down with some, some powder, because I don't, uh, the last time I used it, which was the first time I used it. I used way too much. Went ham. And then I couldn't blend the eyeshadow because I didn't have anything on top. Any powder sticking it sticking it down. It was so sticky. I'm used to Milani's. Which is great. It's been my favorite, but um, you know, um, new products they they take uh, a little trial and error as to see how they work. That's going to be great. So now let's get us. Um, this color maybe this I mean this uh, brush maybe no what about this one yeah this is a good one this is a wet and wild it's just a little fluffy now let's go into let's go into this gray one right here this this one right here the colors aren't named cover girl we like names. Just gonna put that in the crease. And uh because I have hooded lids, I'm gonna go up pretty high. Just start that outer V. I like to put it on the outer half and Really go up with it. That's your medium tone. And that kind of gives you a base to start off with. Again, outer V, increase. And I will say, if you notice, I'm kind of struggling. I don't use the same method of application on both sides. I can't do that anymore. My hands, they don't, they don't quite work right. Um, I have quite a bit of nerve damage in my hands and arms from a wreck that my husband and I were in back in 2010 and um, 
while I was gone away from YouTube um, I didn't wear makeup for a couple of few years because I had a lot of numbness and burning in my hands and my arms and I went through a period where I just I couldn't I couldn't uh, I couldn't do any of the crafty things that I loved to do let's let's take this one this is uh, Morphe and it's just a uh, like a kind of a domed pencil brush. Let's go into this purple shade here. Purpley shade. Nope. Uh, that's not the one we went into. Hmm. Sometimes we make mistakes. Hold up. So. Now, back into the purpley shade. Here. This one. This one right here. <laughs> Tap off the excess. And so if you notice that I'm struggling, I, I am. And if you notice that the, the application doesn't look the same, it's not. And if you notice that my eyes don't look the same or it doesn't look the same on my cheeks or whatever, it's because you, you have to use the same application process on both sides to make a match. And my, I just can't do that. So I just... I'm just happy with what I can do. I'm kind of having to read and learn how to do a lot. And I think that that also is the epitome of a cover girl where she can jump in and do the things, come back and start over if she needs to. And, you know, I feel like CoverGirl, the brand in and of itself, is like the brand that, um, you know, of the, like the 80s working woman where I'm taking that same purple and going under underneath a little bit outer third um, always think of the 80s working woman um, she can do it all she's juggling it all she's a mom she's a she's working her butt off and she can start over a thousand times if she needs to and I kind of feel like that's what I've done is Started over a bunch. Okay, I'm going to take this as uh, Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. And just a little fluffy brush. And I'm just going to just buff. I'm just going to buff. I'm just going to blend, blend, blend. And, uh, Now, I will say, once in a while, in my high school career, I would get a wild hair and take a really pretty silver and ring my eyes with silver eyeliner. Boy, I loved that. Put a little gray in and check it here. See how we're doing. Well, that looks pretty good, but this is, it's, 
a little blendy. It's a little blendy, blendy. Okay. So, now, let's take that same brush and go into that matte shade, white shade at the end. There's quite a lot of kick up in that matte shade. I don't know if you guys can see or tell. But there's quite a lot of matte the kick up. Oh, see there? Look at that. Really does that blunder off. Okay. Over here. Boy, I like that. That's nice. Okay. Great. Now, let's get us... I know what we'll do. <clears throat> I'm going to take the sponge tip applicator so that you know it's not useless. And I'm going to go into this um, silvery right here. And uh, see that? There you go. See there. Look at all of that. Um, pretty shimmery wonder. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Let's do that on the other side. And we didn't have to stick our finger in it. Okay, now I'm going to take the other side, <clears throat> see, I'm going to take the other side, and I'm going to go into that shade right next to it, that's a little bit more gray silvery, I'm going to go out here, like this, and kind of do the middle there. Mm-hmm. That is so nice. Now, I'm going to get our kind of a blendy brush. I'm going to blend, blend, blend so that they mesh really good. Okay. And then, Let's get us an inside, an, an inner corner highlight color. Nope, not that brush. Let's get us an inner corner highlight brush. Right. Let's see. Okay, so. Found us an inner corner highlight brush. This is uh, said Jaclyn Hill and Morphe. And it looks like that. Just a little tiny inner corner highlight brush. And we're going to go in this pearlescent shade down here and really hit that inner corner. Look at that. Carry it up a little bit. Boy, that 
that's nice. Oh yeah, that's nice. Carry it down along this inside here just a little bit. And let's do the same on the other inner. Is a nice inner corner highlight. Good job, cover girl. I have always thought that CoverGirl had the best eyeshadow. In the drugstore. Of course, I think they have the best mascaras and the best a lot. And I think they're so underrated. <sighs> okay. Now, moving on. Just in general, I think they're overrated. I mean, overrated. Underrated. I think that they, they don't get enough love. They, um, everybody, um, really pushes L'Oreal and Maybelline. And then, you know, Elf and, and Wet n Wild have, you know, they're really inexpensive and they're taken off. And Okay. I'm going to use this. Put my eyes back on. CoverGirl Exhibitionist 24-Hour Coal Eyeliner in the shade 500 burgundy. Now I don't know who's testing these these, you know, it's going to last however long it's going to last. But don't wear your makeup 24 hours. That's ridiculous. It's in the shade burgundy. Like this. Give you a little swatcheroo. Okay. Don't wear your makeup 24 hours. So let's tight line. I sound kind of wheezy. Again, just got out of the hospital. Oh, book myself in the eye. Good job, Crystal. Okay, now the under, let's I'll take my mirror to do this, this job. I've seen on YouTube and Instagram and different places that this is the color that you want to use this pretty burgundy if you have blue eyes that it will really bring out that blue And that really does do a pretty fair job. Good job, cover girl. You are killing it today. So, put that up. Let's get us 
um, top smoky, you say. This is, um, this is um, CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus. Two hundred black onyx a pencil. There we go. And one end, it's got pencil. And on the other end, it's got a smudger. So we're going to make this better. Better get my mirror because I don't want to get it all over. We're just going to Take it on the top here. I'm just going to line the top. Just the outer third right there. Okay. And then I'm going to take the smudger because this is smoky look. We're going to smoke it out. Really? Just really get in there and rub it. Just really get in there and rub it. That's nice. Now, <sighs> see there? Nice. Now, let's go in, curl the lashes on my new Cowabunga. Wet and Wild, <laughs> Cookie Monster, Eyelash Curlers. Mm. If you don't know, this step is crucial. Especially if you have rooftop lashes. You really want to go in and curl the lashes with this little torture device. <laughs> it's not that bad. It just looks like it would be that bad. And it will help your lashes hold the curl really well. Okay, so now 
We're going to go in with CoverGirl Clump Crusher in black brown only. This is a new brush they have in for Clump Crusher. It's curved, which also helps with curl. So, if you want your lashes to be curly, you'll do all the extra things. And a little quick tip. Excuse me. Do your bottom lashes first. That way, you don't get mascara all over your top lid when you're doing your bottom lashes. See, your upper lid is more mobile than your bottom lid. And when you go to do your upper lashes, you're not going to get mascara on your bottom lid. Pretty much no matter what you do. Uh, um, but if you if you apply mascara to the top lashes and then you do the bottom, when you're really looking up, those top lashes are gonna bang on that upper lid and you're going to have a mess. So, wasn't exactly happy with that inner corner there. Also, if you remember your Quick Tip Tuesday, Another quick tip is use brown or black brown for volumizing and thickening the lashes. Then use black out on the tips to make them for lengthening to make them appear longer. This Clump Crusher formula is a formula where it's ready to go right out of the tube. You don't have to wait a week or two for it to be good enough to use. Going at those top lashes. Really wiggle because you want to really cover the lashes. You're really actually looking to cover the lashes on all sides. That's how you'll see me go top down and then back up. Just because for wanting, you get all of the lash.
really wiggle. Get the go in really close to the lash line and really wiggle. really coat those lashes. And you see that? It's a perfect learning opportunity. Let that dry. Do not touch that. Now, I'm going to take this um, Lash Plumping Mascara from CoverGirl. It's in black. And wand and I'm just going to go in and get the little tips 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 you can see how that really really lengthens the lashes it's a little trick They look like um, I'm going ham and really getting in there, but I'm not. I'm just getting the tips. Okay. Now let's do the tops. Just doing the tips. Look at that. See that? It really makes a huge difference. I just got some on the top lid there. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Easily fixed. Let it dry. I'm not going ham, I'm just getting the little tipsies. Come on, grab a hold there. Mm -hmm. We're just going to let all that dry. We're not even going to discuss it. We're going to pretend like it's not there until it dries. <clears throat> now, let's go into do brows. Brush them. Brush them, brush them. This is um, keep forgetting my eyes. Cover girl. Ho ho ho. 
ultra fine brow pencil in 705 rich brown there we go ultra fine 705 rich brown yep sorry See there <sighs> goodness don't pay any attention to that big mm -mm. Just leave it alone and let it dry I just start out making a line at the bottom and then start going for some hairs. And then I color it in pretty good. Fill it in. And you can go backwards. That really catches the skin underneath. Another little quick tip. Keep in mind, your eyebrows are supposed to be sisters, not twins. Mine look more like step cousins, but it's fine. It's fine. Brush the rim again. You trust the process. Remember, remember, remember. Now I bet that mascara has had time to dry. So let's come over here and see. Let me get in this shot for you. You can see right there where I got some. Go ahead. Ah, gone, gone. Now, here, get in the frame. There you go. <clears throat> Come back over that with a beauty blender. And you'll be fine. Sorry for the wheezy guys. Like I said, I've been in the hospital. See there? Hmm. That's nice. Okay. What do you say we move on to lips? Ooh, ooh, ooh. So I have some this um, lip liner, CoverGirl Exhibitionist lip liner in 200 in the nude.
And this is a really interesting applicator for lip liner to me. Sorry, it's so messy, but. And my lips are very dry. Say it again. One sick. Been in the hospital. And uh oops, sorry, not in frame. Sorry. Now, I have a few different things to choose from, but I think we're going to go with this because my lips are very dry. Um, let's go in with this CoverGirl Outlast Ulta Matte Liquid Lipstick, 24 hour wear. Don't wear your makeup 24 hours. It's ridiculous. In 1.30, wine o'clock. A little doe foot applicator. See there? Okay. Mm. Smells. Mm. Smells like sweet lipstick. If you're going to overline, Overline the top and then really swoop in on the sides. Don't overline the corners. That's what I mean. Because that that gives you more of a Cupid's bow. There. Mm. Feels good. Mm -hmm. Having a hard time getting that this side over here. Yeah. 
I think we did it that time. Okay, great. Well, that looks good. Smoky and red-lipped and mm -hmm. full face of gorgeous CoverGirl. Isn't that nice? Okay. So that's the look. And I have to say, I think it's really nice. Well, thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this, this uh, full face of CoverGirl. And I'll see you in the next video. Love you. Bye.